this is Jason again uh, coming to you with a do-it-yourself bass electronics project now I'm not a professional tech uh, but I am cheap and I'll drop everything I won't make I don't make myself wait <laughs> to do repair work so uh, and it's functional whatever I do works so uh, having said that uh, let me show you what I'm going to do today. <clears throat> I'm going to replace uh, the flush mount quarter inch jack and the volume pot. And these are these are both uh, they didn't come from Ibanez but uh, I have an Ibanez attack base. Uh, they didn't come from Ibanez but they're kind of original equipment replacements um, and they weren't all that easy to get as it turns out and I've been waiting like six weeks to get this stuff <clears throat> so let me get started okay continuing on I have the base uh, the stuff apart now um, two things one if you can see in here uh, what I'm doing right now taking a picture of how it looks do that uh, before you start taking it apart it's kind of the dummies approach to things but uh, that's how I do it it might be useful to talk about the tools um, basically to you know a Phillips head screwdriver real small all the screws in here are real small uh, Allen wrenches uh, to take the knobs off, a small crescent wrench to take the uh, the nuts off the that hold the knobs in place. I mean the pots in place. The knobs are held by Allen wrenches. The pots are held by nuts that hold it tight to the body. Um, over here to get this flush mount jack out turned out to be a little bit of a trick. Now I've done it before so I'll show you. I used an open head uh, box wrench and it is a 14 millimeter wrench uh, for those of you who want to try it on the off chance that it's the same. <clears throat> now because I, I'm holding the camera with one hand I'm going to show you this uh, two-handed thing one hand at a time this thing is a called a cotton picker spindle uh, <laughs> and it probably doesn't have any business being in a proper uh, guitar techs toolbox but uh, I work for a survey company what it is is um, they use it to more or less permanently mark a point and you pound this into the pavement right so it's made to be worked with a sledgehammer not for this fine stuff that I'm doing but if you notice it has some little teeth on it and if you do it gently it can be used to hold the the jack in place while you while you unscrew this right so you're holding it there and unscrewing it here uh, so the cotton picker spindle is part of my toolbox. This is cool. Alright, so Josh, can you see I'm working? Yeah. <clears throat> Don't cut your finger off. Alright, so I took the old one off and as I did that I noticed that the new one only came with this nut and the old one had all this all these washers so just like with everything else I'm gonna salvage what I can and show you a very important part of my operation which is this a magnifying glass um, so I have my wires uh, cut and ready I have the the jack in I kinda of keep it loose so I can I can move this around as I need to uh, so I'm gonna I'm going to use where is it? I'm going to use my solder. Um, 
I guess you can't see it. Uh, basically, it's a 60-40 rosin core solder. Uh, the, it's got something in there that prepares the surface of whatever you're going to solder, uh, as well as the, the solder itself. And I have uh, this thing that I bought at Radio Shack. It's got a holder uh, for the for the soldering iron. It's got these little alligator clips that kind of hold your work and the magnifying glass. Uh, and I find that's a big help. You have to be one with the pen. One with. Go get dressed. I am dressed. Your shoes on. Okay. All right. After a slight interruption to take my son to rehearsal. Uh, let me show you where I'm at. So I have everything, uh, all the wires connected back uh, with these alligator clips. <laughs> there might be a better way to do this, but they, they leave big dents in the wires and I don't know. Like I said, I'm not the best, I'm just the cheapest. All right, so I'm going to plug it in and just make sure that I have this hooked up right. All right, that works. Regarding the jack, there was one thing that I I didn't uh, put on there, which was the contacts that you solder to, I did roughen them up a little bit uh, with a little piece of sandpaper. Um, and I didn't show that on the video, but... So basically, before you put it in, roughen those up, uh, tin the, the contacts, tin the wires, and put them together and put a little bit of solder on it. Um, I don't have anything to hold the camera, otherwise I would have I shown you all that. So I'll just have to describe it to you. Okay, on to number two.